Today, we're fishing for 10 pound bass in loaded ponds. And as a fisherman, we all dream of catching a 10 pound bass. But the truth of the matter is, it's easier said than done. With it being over a year since I've caught my last double digit, it is time for us to go back on the hunt. Our objective is to go to ponds that are known to have trophy bass or we have caught 10 pound bass in the past. Will I catch a 10 pound bass today? We'll just have to find out. But let's just say, the journey was wild. Oh, Oh my god! <laughs> 10 pounder, dude! It's a freaking 10 pounder, baby! 10 pounder. A little freaking 10 pounder, baby! Starting tonight through the 9th of December, we're running a Black Friday sale. For every kicking combo you purchase, you'll receive three free packs of Strike King baits. Head over to kickingtheirbass.com now and get you a rod. Happy Thanksgiving. We are at this beautiful pond. That's tucked away here by the woods. We're gonna be fishing some hidden ponds today for some absolute monsters. And this place is very special, guys. This is a pond that we fished years ago. We have caught many seven to nine pounders in this pond, and we've even heard of some 10 pound bass caught in this place. There's some absolute toads, and it's been years since we fished here. So we are out today pond hopping in hopes that we can catch us a double digit today. As far as the conditions, it is very nasty today, guys. I'm talking gross, man. Straight up clouds in the sky, gloomy day. It was raining earlier, and we are throwing ourselves a spinnerbait here. I'm feeling a spinnerbait and a buzzbait today. I think that's what's gonna get the biggest bites. So uh, let's go ahead and get started, start casting, and see if we can get us a big one. By the way, that's the spinnerbait I'm throwing, just a white and chartreuse spinnerbait with a willow leaf blade right there, and that's in like gold. I got it paired up on my uh, Kicking Their Bass TV x -Lose combo. If you guys want to check these out, kickingtheirbass.com. I appreciate the love and support, guys. It means the world to me. Without further ado, y'all deserve a big bass, man. And I'm going to get it for you today. All right, there's too much pine straw. We're going to go ahead and walk down this pond. One thing that I don't like is there's no activity. There's no jumping. I don't see any birds. <laughs> I don't see any bait popping. We see nothing. So right here on this far side bank, I know you guys probably can't see it, but there's a little drop off right where I just landed. There's a flat and it drops off right where we're at right now. That can be a killer spot for some big bass to sit. Oh yeah. There we go. We're on. Not a big one, but we are on. We are on board today, baby. He was right up on that flat. I'm just going to coast him in real quick. Not a big one at all. Or very small. There we go, man. Whew. It just feels good to get a bite. And look at that. Barely hooked in the side of the mouth. Thank you, baby. She is pretty skinny. Still skinny old bass. But you're a pretty one. Thank you so much. This is all we need to have a great day, guys. This is a start off catching a bass in the first pond. And we about to pound them, man. I'm telling you right here. All right, guys, let's keep it moving, man. That was actually right up there on that flat, too. We're going to make some more cast out there. Would you look at that? That is the smallest little bait fish, smallest little bluegill I have ever seen. Yeah, he had a bright future. He had a fat belly and everything. Well, that is very small bait fish. Oh, here we go, boys and girls. There's some certified donkeys in here, certified 10 pounder younders. And this pond's actually changed a ton. I haven't fished this in a while because this whole bank right here used to have a bunch of laydowns and they actually chopped them all down. So there's no laydowns anymore. And that's the reason I just didn't come out here. I was like, I wanna give it some time to get, get right again. But we've caught some really good fish in here and hopefully they're gonna eat a spinner bait but when I caught that 10 pounder down on the other end, that was actually on the spinner bait. So that gets me even more pumped up. Oh, monster, monster. I can't move him. I can't move him. This might be a 10 pounder. Oh, he's gonna jump. Stay down, baby. This is a 10 pounder. I can't even move this fish. I can't move him, dude. And we got him. Come on, baby. Let's 
stay pin. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh. oh. It's not a 10 pounder, but it is an absolute tank. Oh yeah, come here. Come here, baby. This thing. This thing hit it like a freight train, dude. Come on. Dude, all this 10 pounder talk has my mind delusional, bro. But look at that. Solid, close to five pounder right there. Let's on. Look how fat she is. Dude, I'm telling you, when that fish hit it and I hook set, he had to have been in a tree or something. I leaned up and I couldn't move this thing. I, I genuinely couldn't move it. I had a gut feeling about this place. And it just happened, man. Zeroed out. Let's flop around the scale. Dude, my I am shaking, man. I honestly thought I had an 8 to 10 pounder on. She hit it like a freaking monster. Oh yeah, almost five. She's four. 4.63. We'll take her, man. We'll freaking take her, man. Oh. All right. Not a absolute monster, but that's a big one right there, son. All right, boys. That gets us started on the big fish train today. Not a double digit. I sound like an idiot for even saying that was a double digit, but it felt like a freaking tank. But we got us a good four plus pounder close to five pounds and there she goes let's go son come on i am pumped i am freaking pumped fishing recently has been tough and it just feels good to lean into a big and sound like such a dweeb it's a 10 pounder guys oh my gosh make fun of me in the comments go ahead go do it okay come on scale dude we are actually beaming this spinner bait oh i just got hit come on Either I got hit or went over a tree. Kind of felt like I want to slap the blade though. <laughs> it's crazy because we never fish where we just casted because trees were here previously. And two, I'm just beaming today, man. This kicking combo is just ripping. It's doing very good for us. We're getting the bait in places that we have not been before. And that's important. Here's to day number two, guys. We're at a special pond that has done wonders to us recently. This actually connects to the 10 pounder pond behind us through that pipe. We're gonna start here and then we might just head over to the 10 pounder pond. There's just some construction over there. So I was trying to start off here where it would be less loud. And today's strategy is going to shift a little bit. We, we are still gonna throw the spinner bait because I think we're gonna get some really big bites on it. Obviously caught that big one the other day on it. And we brought out the fairy wand, man. We got a little uh, spinning rod here with a drop shot on it. You know, we've had a big cold front roll through and these fish are just shut down, but that is not gonna stop us from attempting to catch these monsters. So uh, let's start casting. We're gonna start off with the spinner bait. See if we can get some bites, see if we can catch someone that's active. And uh, if we have to slow down, just know that we have that drop shot. All right, let's slow it down here. This is uh, my whole idea coming out here. I mean, I'm like, if these fish are tough, we, we have to adjust. We can't just be hard headed. And uh, a drop shot, get a little weight on the bottom. We got one of these mock sticks and uh, black and blue. That's a good combo on a drop shot for a bigger bite. And uh, I know a lot of people are like, you only catch small fish on the drop shot. And that is just not true. Like I've caught numerous amounts of eight to 10 pounders on a drop shot. It's possible to get those big bites. And if there's a bait to throw today to get bites, I truly believe it's this. How are you? Good, how are you? Doing great. <laughs> really have you you come out from probably from that one right there all right i'll watch out for him i appreciate that how big is he yeah they love this uh you know they get back all in that swamp and that's how they get in here you know well it's a little colder today maybe he's not you know roaming around <laughs> lisa's sunny today you know yeah <laughs> have a good one well, the last thing we need right now, guys, is an alligator. 
You don't need that. All right, let's walk on down here a little bit. The one thing that we got to be careful with is the hook that I'm using on this drop shot is just a regular little open hook there. It's just a standard circle hook. And we got to be careful because there's a good bit of lay downs on this bank. There's a good bit of cover. But then again, you obviously want to fish by the trees, man. I mean, that's where you would think these bass are. Uh-oh, we got a couple blow-ups out there in the middle. A little splash out there and another bigger splash. Didn't really seem like a bass, but it's good to see wildlife finally. That's not what we want. But that is our first, <laughs> that's our first catch of the day. You guys an all stick pounder, man. All right. We got something. Not really what we're going for, but we got something. All right. We're going to actually abandon this pond and we're going to go across the street to the original 10 pounder pond where we've seen bigger ones. All right. Come on. Let's get some, let's get some energy up in here, boys. I mean, the pond we just fished, this is, this is where it sources from. All the water comes from here. And back in that corner, that comes as natural water from a swamp. And look at that, we just saw a blow up. That is what you want to see. Look at them, they're just freaking blowing up. I think those are mainly mudfish. But if the mudfish are active. We got a nice one. That is a mudfish. On a drop shot, unreal. But we are started off with a fish. No way, man. I have never caught a mudfish on a drop shot. That is a first. Come here, boy. Oh yeah, that's a nice mud too. <laughs> Yo, let's go, baby. That is not what we're here for, but hey, we'll take her. All right, stop, stop, stop. You're gonna break my line. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Just stop it, just stop it. No. Okay, you're done. You're done. Stop. That is a big boy. I don't get my weight all tangled up too. There he goes. Woo. <laughs> Yo, was that our first cast? I'm pretty sure that was our first one. And we got a fish. Just not the species we're looking for, but guess what? That gives us the energy and momentum we need for today, man. Anything that bites, I am happy with at this very moment. And he got our drop shot. All sorts of messed up now. It's the thing with them mudfish, boy, they will... It will ruin your equipment. It will ruin your baits, more importantly. You know what, boys? I'm feeling a little spicy. I'm feeling a little juiced up right now. We gonna get us an old spinner bait in here, son. Let's get back down in the big fish territory down here. Uh oh, look what we got. We got a bobber, man. Oh, dude. I bet you, look at this. It's actually crazy. Get a little piece of wood with braid on it. And he's got his little bobber right there. I bet you that's the people working on the house, the construction workers. He's trying to catch him a fish. I just went over one's back or something. Threw in there, I felt something. I looked up and there's a swirl. All right, I think it's time we move. We just gotta keep on moving. We gotta be patient, but at the same time, we gotta make educated decisions on when to move. So let's hop in the truck. Get out to our next spot. And you get another pond that connects to those. Maybe this one will be the hot zone. Ooh. Dude, that felt like a buyer right there. I feel like you just hit it one time and didn't even eat it, which is kind of crazy. I mean, it's a dang drop shot. Well, there's a tree. That is not what we want. Chimney Christmas. I'll tell you, if it was a... If we're going after trees, we'd be doing pretty dang good. Look at that, there's a dead dragonfly at the top of the surface. And a fish has somehow not ate him. I mean, that, that's crazy. You would think if a good, a good meal is sitting right in front of them, they would already ate that. Nothing but six. All right, new spot, new me. And this pond right here, like 10 years ago, my buddy, when he was younger, he caught one that was 10 pounds out of here and i was a little skeptical on it because we never caught any big fish but last year we caught a lot of four and five pounders out of here and just last week i was product testing something little hint hint some things coming soon i caught one that was close to seven pounds so with that being said you know there's biggins in here 
I was a little weirded out about it before because I fished this thing for years and didn't catch any, you know, really big fish until the last couple of years. So maybe we'll get lucky enough to get us another big in today. There we go. Uh-oh. There we go. Come on. Second cast and we're already on. Not a big one by any means at all. That's a dang bass, bro. We got our first bass today. We caught a big mudfish earlier. We're finally on board with the widow old bass. Not a big one, but hey, we're on board. That's all we needed. We need momentum. And to be honest, I don't really care for the first couple of fish. Like if we catch some small ones, I'll be happy with how tough the fishing is right now. I'm telling you guys, you know, we're gonna have some tough fishing coming up with the transition into this cold. I'm telling you, a drop shot usually always gets the job done if they're slow. Something to think about. I'll ever hesitate. Pick up the drop shot and give it a shot. The only thing we're going to have to worry about in this pond is there is a good bit of grass on the bottom. But as long as we can keep that bait elevated, it shouldn't be too big of an issue. All right, let's keep on walking down. All right, this is the magic corner. This is where the magic happens. I caught that six to seven right there on a little spin -a bait. See if there's one sitting over there. Dude, I cannot see anything out there. The sun is so bright. It's right in my eyes. The cold front that came through has killed the bite, but I'm determined to catch one of these trophy bass that are sitting in these ponds. So let's head out for day number three. Here we go, boys and girls, ladies and gents. I'm ready to mess these fish up right now. Drop shot still on the spinning combo. Kicking combo, extra wide gap hook. We're hopping right into this here. We're getting us a zone fluky, baby. A zone fluky. This fluky goes zone zone, you know? We're gonna rig this puppy up on this extra wide gap hook. It is absolutely beautiful today. I'm hoping this cold weather and these fish are gonna be munching now. Third time's the charm. It is happening here. We're gonna start off with this fluke, something we can work slow and also cover a good bit of water. You know, here in the fall time, I love throwing these natural colors. And instead of like a pearl white, we have this uh, like albino color here. So we are going to uh, start casting around and see what we can get into. I'm hoping we're going to get some big ones in this pond. So we're going to work down this left side of the bank right now. Um, it's a little more calm right here. Over on the other side of this bridge, we got a good bit of wind hitting that bank. And I think that's a great zone to fish in. I'm hoping these fish are just going to be a lot more active today. That's what I'm praying for. It's so odd because some days they live, you know, they're on these bridges pretty good. And then some days they just, I don't know, they're not under it at all. I think the bridge back there might be a little better since that wind's pushing up on it heavier. But we'll have to go back and try that once we fish this side. Oh, there's a boil right there. It's the first sign of life we've seen. What you want to see though, you want to see a little bit of activity here and there. All right, nothing in that corner. I was going to fish this pocket back here, but to be honest, we're going to abandon this side of the pond and go to the other end by that bridge because I want to say this is all stagnant water, no wind. We need to be on down by that wind. Oh, there's another boil right there. There we go. Not a big one, but not a bad one. Let's go, dude. We are on board today. Listen, we already fished over all this water. That's what's insane. Literally, we already fished this water. And we came back and look at that fluke right in the top of his nose, man. Oh my gosh. That's a two pounder. Let's go, baby. It's a good way to start right here. We fished all down this bank. We started there, saw a boil, decided to make some casts, 
And listen, we would have never caught this fish. We would have continued to walk. We would have never caught this bass if we didn't see that fish boil and actually take action. But there we go, guys. First fish of the day. Nice two pounder. Let's see if we can replicate it. That fish right there had some very sharp teeth too, man. He had some sharp little chompers on him. And if you guys don't know what that means, it means he's been eating bait fish. So with that being said, that makes me feel even better about today. Well, let's keep on casting. Maybe we need to fish down this bank more. They could be roaming. Because we didn't see any boils or anything the first time we fished it. So crazy because the wind was just whipping over here. And now it's whipping on the other end. It makes no sense. We just went from where the wind was to where the wind isn't. Maybe that's why this fish moved down that bank and they were just following that wind, following that ripple. Oh. There we go. He's running at me. Stay pin, baby. And he came off. And he came off. <sighs> that fish, boom, all the way to the right. Could barely catch up with him. I'm dropping my rod. Could barely catch up with that fish. And when I finally did, dude, I felt his weight. That was a good one. Gosh. Dang it, dude. Come on. It's all good, man. Let's just get back in there. There's, oh, oh. <laughs> he bit it and spit it out, dude. Okay, there's fish in this corner, man. He literally went tick, tick and just dropped it. Oh, oh, he spit it out. No. Why, bro? All right, we're gonna go back, grab this drop shot, and we're coming back to this spot. There's a lot of fish in this pocket. Whole drop shot, do me wonders right here, baby. Come on. They're short striking a drop shot. I'm a little concerned, but <laughs> they should, if we get bit, they should have it, especially with that open hook. All right. I consider that a success. We got us a fish and we also had some bites. We figured something out. So uh, let's just take this knowledge to a whole nother pond. See if we can change our luck. Wow, has it been a while since we fished right here. And I got a weird itch in me, guys. I was like, I want to come out here. I just feel like this spot is about to pop off. I had a weird feeling. I was actually going to a whole different location. And I was like, I need to stop here. Let's go walk in this pocket. Cast around this fluke a little bit here. Oh, dude, he blew up on it. Let's go, baby. That is awesome. Really small fish, but that was a sick E, dude. Oh my gosh, you were so aggressive for how tiny you are, buddy. You're so aggressive. And one thing that I haven't mentioned in today's video, guys, these fish feel so cold. I mean, that water has cooled off tremendously. Hopefully that's uh, for many more to come and obviously some bigger ones in this spot. That's a good sign though, to have one aggressively hit it like that. I know he wasn't big, but overall, that's just a great sign, especially when we're struggling. Let's go, dude. All right, that was worth throwing right there. Let's pick up this drop shot and start throwing down this ditch again. I feel like some of the bigger fish today are gonna come in the deeper water. So this pond, I have a pretty good lay of the land on this pond. Like we got this ditch right in front of this point here. We have a ditch laying, going back into this pocket. Those are pretty good hot zones. Back in that corner, very shallow flat, bunch of rocks and lay downs back all the way in the back pocket got a pretty good drop off back there that's where we got the five pounder and then right here in the middle section huge flat and these flats might not be a bad idea today especially with this wind on this pond right now oh let's go baby i don't think he's big he's running at me 
I do not think he's big. I think it's a little small. Oh, he's got easy beezy. Oh, come on now. You're the meal of the bass that we're looking for, buddy. But I appreciate the bite. You're giving us momentum. And that is all we need right now. You can barely get the hook out of your mouth. You're so tiny. Look at that. That's a future toad right there, boys. Thank you, Bubba. Thank you, Bubba. Little too much grass on the flat. We'll try one more cast. There we go. Oh, that feels like a better one. Come on, baby. I don't know. Am I ever hooked weird? Oh, I came off. How? I don't know what just happened. That is a great sign for this flat. I'll tell you that right now. We're gonna throw right back in there. There could be some more. That was a decent fish. <sighs> My heart is racing, guys. I'm having flashbacks to back in the day. I'm having flashbacks. Not a big one, but not a bad one. Uh-oh. not a big one at all that's a fish and we're catching them just gotta weave through some of these small ones this is right where my buddy got that 10 pounder it's pb back in the day the spot i always dream about it man it's been years since we came out here this is a crazy spot Oh my God, this spot's loaded. Oh no, come on. Oh, I think I broke it off. I freaking broke it off. Oh, that breaks my heart. My heart, that breaks me heart. And I'm a dummy and I didn't bring extra hooks. I might have to walk a half a mile back to the car in a moment. Unless they smoke this fluke. Let's see. They're loaded in there, man. I fish slammed it right when I hooked it. I felt his tail swipe, and then I got down in whatever tree that was down there. Oh, dude, I saw. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Let's go, dude. Bigger than the last one. Still small, though. Oh. I'll take a pounder any day with those little tiny ones, though. All right, they're loaded out here, dude. Let's just keep on casting. Maybe we'll get them to eat this fluke. I actually got distracted there when I hooked that. Over to my right, there was actually some bait flickering. There's fish chasing bait out there. And if you guys are wondering what I'm doing with this fluke, I'm having to throw it out there and work it in instantly because this flat is so shallow, guys. And not only is the flat shallow, but there's so much grass. So what I'm trying to do is keep this fluke right above the grass and taking off the top of it, which is almost at the surface. All right, guys, I think we need to go tie on something slower. So what we're going to do is go back to the car, retie, and then we're going to hit either this back corner or the corner way back over there. And uh, if we want to walk back here, we can always do that. But let's go ahead and uh, get back to the car and keep moving. All right, boys, we're in this back corner. Got my drop shot tied back on, but we're actually going to start with this fluke out here. The one thing that worries me <laughs> with this corner is there's a lot of laydowns in the water and rock. So we need to be careful with that. Oh, no way. Dude, first cast, we're getting smoked. What is going on, man? All right, let's get to the good stuff out of here. We're going to start with this fluke just because, like I said, I don't want to break that drop shot off right away. There's just a lot of stuff on the bottom out here. And if they're going to eat this fluke, I'd rather catch them on this. A little bigger presentation, too. Maybe they're really just not in this corner as good kind of weird how these fish position in this pond too we're gonna get to the far end 
All right, new spot, new me. Come on. Ooh. Snap me off. Snap me off. Gosh. It almost felt like a dang mudfish bite. It either felt like a big bass or a mud. But I don't think I've caught a mud in this pond. I'm not saying they're not in here. That was an aggressive bite. It was either a good bass or it was a big mud and he just happened to snap my line. It can get a little aggravating, especially when you're not, it's not like we're getting the craziest amount of bites right now. And for some reason, I still never learned my lesson to bring my drop shot hooks and weights. So that is okay. Let's, uh, let's try to throw around this fluke for just a little bit here. And uh, if we don't have anything else, then we'll just keep her going. Can't let that get us down too much. Oops. There we go. That's a little one. That is a little itsy bitsy baby. He freaking ate that puppy too. What is up with you small guys today? Dude, you are freezing, brother. You need to go get you a jacket. What is up with these little itsy bitsy guys? Come on. Not what I want. I'll take him. I'll happily catch that fish. We just need some size on you guys. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's a little better. He was right on that little tiny grass patch, dude. Okay. Still a small one, but bigger than the last one. Come here, boy. Thank you. All right, maybe we're starting to get into something here. Just maybe we're doing something. Look, he's got a little spot on his side. Thank you, buddy. You're not big, but you're bigger than the first one we got here. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. There he goes. I'm feeling a momentum shift and I like it. I feel like I'm not having to soak my bait on the bottom to get the bites. And that is the little uh, patch that we just caught that fish on. Any isolated stuff you see like that is prime. To be honest, guys, I am not liking the size in here. I think we just got to keep on moving. If anything, from coming to this pond, we learned that it seems as if these fish are starting to bite. So with that being said, we just got to keep on moving and have faith. All right. Here we go. So we still got our fluke on here. And instead of our drop shot, we're whipping out a wacky rig. Going a little different here. Something a little different. I think it can be a pretty good choice for this pond. I'll tell you guys, you can't ever sleep on the wacky rig. Well, wacky rig and drop shot, they do wonders. Dude. What in the world? So I threw this fluke so far that it went up on the bank and I drug it right off the grass into the water and the smallest fish of the video choked it to the back of the stern. 